Wake up in the morning thinking of Swami G. Take a shower to puja and very buddhi. Wake up in the morning thinking of Swami G. Take a shower to puja and very buddhi. Hey, wait, why do we need to wear buddhi? Have you ever wondered why Hindus wear these? Well, there are many reasons. Consider you have a very important test or exam. How would you feel? You could be freaking out, stressed, nervous, doing all nighters because you didn't study. Or you may even study like your life depends on it. Admit it, we've all been there. But do you know what the funny thing is? Reason for it, we study to get good grades so we can get a good job, so we can have a good house and a good life. But the thing is, none of this is permanent. We go on living as though our bodies and our possessions are permanent. But is it real? At one point in our lives, everything as we know just becomes nothing. Everything becomes as good as ash. In Hinduism, the Buddha is a sacred ash. We usually wear it on our forehead, but you can also wear it in our different parts of body. For me, unless I attend a funeral or someone close to me passes away, it does not really hit me strongly that I'm really going to die. That everything I have and everything I am is temporary. I just love Shaivism. It is a branch of Hinduism. Why? Well, for an example, in one of the scriptures in Shaivism, known as the Agamas, it goes so far to say that we should apply sacred ash when we wake up, when we go to bed, before eating and after eating, before sneezing and after sneezing, even before going to the bathroom and after going to the bathroom. You may think this is a little crazy and why we should follow it or practice it. Because wearing vibhuti or sacred ash before and after every action reminds us that we can become ash at any time and also reminding us to be in the space of Mahadeva continuously. In Hinduism, actually every action, every ritual shifts us to the context of environment. Wearing vibhuti is an example of that. 